Hello, welcome to Out of the Box. And on this, one of the final two videos I am doing for this series, we are going to be covering a role-playing game that is kind of a guilty pleasure of mine because its genre is something you would not expect from me considering how very public I have been about me not being a fan of this style of entertainment outside of a role-playing game. I give you big eyes, small mouth. Fourth edition. It is anime and manga adventures. Um, <laughs> the best way to describe this game is... It is... It is... It's a role-playing game where you make characters that could potentially be in anime and manga. Uh, it's actually a multi-genre RPG. If you want to make it Cowboy Bebop, or Lupin, or um, Naruto, Inuyasha, any kind of anime you could think of, any kind of world, fantasy, modern, whatever... You can do it with this game. Now, I'm not going to go through the directions on how to make a character. I'm going to link in the description of this video a playlist created by the publisher and is presented by the creator of the game, Mark McKinnon. And he does a much better explanation on how to make a character for Besom. I'm just here to show you what this book has in store. First off, wonderful cover art on both sides and great art inside. Uh, th this is actually a combination of a player's handbook, a dungeon master guide, and a monster manual all rolled into one if you want to compare it to Dungeons and Dragons. Because, <clears throat> excuse me, just looking at the table of contents, we have how to make a character, combat, uh, companions, there's a chapter on game mastering, there's a chapter for in the enemy multiverse, there's character advancement, role playing, blah blah blah, and allies and enemies. Uh, again, the art in this book is amazing like i can like, like whoever did the artwork for this book put you can tell put a lot of time and effort into it and the and how things are worded is impeccable like they they took they took well i mean it's hard to describe they they wanted to make sure that everything was very clear very well explained. The whole nine yards. Um, if you... Honestly, e even me who doesn't like anime likes this game because of the fact that it could be anything. You know, you, if you play Dungeons & Dragons, you're, you got fantasy. If you play Vampire the Masquerade, it's going to be a horror game. No matter how much your players do their best... To make it as weird as possible. Legend of the Five Rings, Feudal Japan, Star Wars, pretty self-explanatory. You can do, you can make this whatever you want. I can't emphasize that enough, by the way. <clears throat> um, let me see here if I can. And the best part is, is that. If you want, there are templates for things in here, too. Let me just find... Because uh, you've got racial templates for, like, android battle maids. Uh, dark elves. Giant robots. You could be a giant robot. Dwarves. Again, it goes right back to the whole... It could be anything. Because you've got in the same chapter here rules for playing a dwarf, rules for making a dwarf, and rules for playing a mech. And when you go to classes, you've got right here, I'm looking at one, rules for playing a magical girl slash guy a la Sailor Moon. 
one page over, rules for playing a master trainer a la Pokemon. That would be a cool uh, game to do this in. Anyway, <laughs> so there you go. Like I said, I'm putting in the link below, or I'm putting in the description below, a link to a play playlist for character creation. And this is going to be one of two Besom videos. Uh, the next one is actually going to be on literally everything else. So until then, take care. Peace.